This is Dustin Pomerlo with the Retina Center of Maine. Here we're repairing a retinal detachment. We look through the patient's pupil to perform the surgery and right now I'm performing the first step in the surgery which is to remove the vitreous gel from the center cavity of the eye. Whenever we do surgery on the retina we remove the gel first to gain access to it. The white powder is a steroid medication that helps to better visualize the gel. You see that the retina is separated from the underlying tissue and when it's in this state the vision is quite poor. We're going to mark a small area using some cautery and then we'll open a small hole here and drain the fluid that's keeping the retina elevated. We then exchange the saline solution we're using uh, in our infusion to an air bubble that will allow us to drain all of the fluid from the eye, including the fluid that's trapped underneath the retina. Here we are draining through the opening that we made to flatten the retina completely. Now I'm placing some laser treatment around the opening. This will eventually form a spot weld between the layers of tissue and seal them closed. I'm also lasering areas at the edge of this patient's retina that contain weak areas or thin areas of retina, as well as retinal holes that may have led to the detachment. Now here we're exchanging the air in the eye for a gas bubble. In this case we'll use a gas called SF6 that stays in the eye about two weeks. And this keeps the retina dry and in position until such time as it can heal in place. Cannulas are removed and the patient's surgery is complete.